And welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Red Terran in the Northwest up against Coke the Joke. Coked a Joke. I'm not quite sure. The Blue Terran in the Southeast. And since this is Delta Delta Quadrant, of course, it is another TVT. Um, every time I seem to play this map, once again, it always seems to be a, another Terran. I've never played against a Zerg or a Protoss. Not quite sure what's going on with that. Uh, but nothing too uh, crazy out of the gate. We're both going for a Supply Depot. Um, he's going to put a Barracks right next to his uh, Command Center. He's not going to be going for the Block Off. I'm actually very late on my Barracks here. There, it finally starts to go down. I am sending a scout out early. Not quite sure about the timing still on that. I'd like to get it out right after I finish that supply depot. But before I uh, f start that barracks, he is not going for the spy at all. He is going to go for marines. And we do see a orbital command being morphed in. Mine is not yet. Although it should be. Come on, go for it. Go. Go. There we go. Alright, so there finally goes the scout, and I'm going to just hang out by him, try to do a little bit of harassment. But there's a marine right there to pick me off. It's a jerk move right there. But then again, so is mine. And there, a bunker will complete a block off for me on my ramp. As the Marine finishes off my SCV and finally he's able to get some scouting done. And there we go, an SCV and a Marine going up right as I load up my bunker. So SCV is going to park right outside and place another bunker right at the bottom of my ramp. Meanwhile, he is going to be going for an expansion on another one of the main spawning areas in Delta Quadrant. Second barracks going down. He did get a tech lab starting to get marauders out on the field. He does have a slight uh, advantage in terms of harvesters. Of course, that will start picking up once that second, once that expansion is up. He's also going for a stim pack and concussive shells. He doesn't want me running away when his marauders start attacking. Finishing up loading that bunker, as I did. Uh, pumping out marines and uh, getting uh, marauders as well. A third barracks going down. Supply depot is going to start coming out as well as a factory. Uh, he's looks like he's sticking with uh, the infantry ball for now while I do go for the factory. Orbital command completed out the expansion. He is calling down mules and training a massive amount of SCVs, but he still has no rally point set on him, so it doesn't look like they're going to get much mining done for a while until he fixes that. Second refinery finishing for Coke to Joke. Uh, mine's been up for a little while, which is why I have more gas than I do minerals. And here I'm going to go for my expansion. I'm going to take out the destructible debris. I still think this is uh, all in all the safer route to get uh, the first expansion. I believe this one out front is just too vulnerable to an attacks coming from uh, the other side. Third and fourth refineries going down for Coke to Joke at his expansion. Gonna have a very uh, gas heavy build here it looks like. Two engineering bays going down. Wow. Uh, lots of marauders there. If I had come up with Banshees early, this would have been a lot easier for me. But instead, I get the reactor on my starport. Of course, he does not have a... There's the factory. And a starport just now going down for him. If I had gotten that Banshee out sooner, would have been a great move for me. But unfortunately, I don't get any scouting done. I don't even see this bunker outside my own base yet. Yeah, look at that. It's right there, but I can't see it. <laughs> Starting to get a little better saturation on his expansion. Uh, his main is pretty much 
I'm going to say that's fully saturated. You know, a lot of people say you need those last two there, but uh, I don't see it making that big of a difference overall. Go ahead. <laughs> Second engineering bay f going up for me. Will I be getting uh, the armor upgrade? Not right now, I guess. We'll save that for later. But of course, right now, it uh, looks like... Oh, there it goes. Uh, armor's finally started right after the weapons did finish. And now he's starting to get siege tanks. So already uh, he is uh, taking the lead. Looking at the army tab, you can see, even with these two medevacs out for me, he's got a slight lead in terms of total number of units out. But most of that's going towards the harvesters. As you can see, he's taken a 44 to 30 advantage over me. Three more barracks going down. He is going heavy on the infantry here. Medevac starting to pop out. Are we going to be seeing medevac drops? Uh, I did uh, take out the bunker there. I assumed the rest of his army was going to be right outside my base. Uh, I don't know if he thought that was going to hold me to one base, but I did get that expansion uh, in the back there. It is finally... Up, morphing into an orbital command uh, would love to see there we go there's a transfer going up as I go and take out what would be his third base he lifts it off but it is too late and I have too many Marines there and here I do see the siege tank take that out but these Marauders are going to be the death of me they are 1-1 one, one, uh, against my 1-0 army but here I should have seen once again that he is incredibly marauder heavy. He's only got one marine left. Um, I should have gone for banshees. Here uh, we do see more marines but they are not in the main base it looks like. They are actually over here being dropped into my expansion along with a couple of marauders. And uh, just bad timing. I allowed him to uh, get the the advantage in terms of the infantry and I let him uh, take over and wipe out my expansion uh, so now it is down to two bases for him and one for me and that is a huge advantage 15 minutes into the game SCVs going back to die because I don't like those SCVs apparently Marauders taking them out easily more medevacs on the way but I'm still 1-1 one, one. he is still 1-1 one, one, but he's getting massive amounts of kills look at that that guy's a corporal six kills already corporal marauder and up he comes gonna take out my supply depots he is already still maxed out at 110 I'm down to 45 out of 83 still oh Oh, this drives me nuts. All right. I don't know if you can tell, but that's bad placement on the factory, especially with his engineering base. This right here, that is not enough room for a siege tank to go through. He can try all he wants, but he can't go around. So I decide, hey, maybe I can go up here and get some. Uh, no, this mineral patch is blocking the way, and it's not even close to done. Ugh. Marine, no! It's only two Marauders left. But meanwhile, he is getting a massive army. He's going for Marauders and Banshees. going to go heavy on the anti-ground, I guess you would call it. It's not anti-air. It only can attack ground, so I guess I'll call it anti-ground. If I had gotten Vikings, that would have been great. But look at the size of that right there. Oh, the game's over and I don't even know it. Well, I do, but I'm going to stay in it and make him earn it anyways. But look, five Banshees out already. Are they? Is he researching Cloak? It does not look like it. It's not that expensive. <laughs> oh, you guys can see that, sorry. 200, 200 uh, for the cloaking, and it does so well. I don't have any missile turrets up. So... Nowhere, not on my expansion, anywhere. I did finally lift off 
the factory, I believe, in order to move these siege tanks out to the front. Uh, you can't actually lift off an engineering bay, even though it does look like you could with those pads on the end of their legs. That is one of the few Terran buildings that does not lift off at all. Medivac still hanging out in the out in space. Uh, such a nice planet in the background. Hope that comes across. Look at that. Eight ban seven banshees and the destructible debris. Cloak finally being researched. Seeker missiles being researched. I don't see any ravens on the field. No, it doesn't look like there are any. He's not training any, so, but seeker missile completing anyways. But those banshees with the cloak would absolutely destroy me. I have nothing. I have no minerals left. I, I spend whatever I have to get the expansion so I can get more minerals. And here come the Banshees. Oh, this cannot be good for me. Wait for it, wait for it. There they go. They don't do that much damage. But they do enough. 12 damage per shot. And I'm forced to GG. And he cloaks for good measure. I have no point. I have no choice but to leave. Uh, so, couple lessons learned here. Uh, one, use your army. Good lord, that is a huge army in there. Uh, two, do some scouting. Don't keep your army in your base if I had moved out at any time I would have seen that there was a bunker here that he was keeping me in my base and I would have to assume that he is getting massive amounts of expansions and went and took them out instead I took out the expansion here and then went for the main base where of course he had uh, siege tanks and marauders waiting for me and then uh, don't Take your entire army if you can afford it. Always be aware that there can be medevac drops, especially on this map. Uh, that it is a great map to do medevac uh, drops on. Uh, great if you're a Terran, uh, which it might be why I only see Terrans on this map. I don't see any Zerg or Protoss. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you learned something. Hope you laughed. Hope to see you next time. Bye.